everyone, welcome back. This is Brandon. I picked up a bathtub near Kyoto recently. Afterwards, I relaxed for a bit before heading to meet a secret friend. After I visited Nijo Castle, I walked through a nearby garden, which was really lovely. Of course, it had huge koi, and uh, I was surprised to find some ducks there just sitting in front of the, the shrine there. Guardians of the Temple, I guess. <laughs> I did go to see a movie, but what movie do you think I saw? It was Megan. This one. I wanted to see it and it was pretty good. I liked it. Got some extra strong matcha ice cream, which was oishi. Walked by uh, some type of old abandoned building near my hotel, which was creepy looking. But there were many beautiful scenes along my route as I was driving. I highly recommend that you drive across Japan if you ever get the chance. You can see some beautiful places, such as this. So much better than the toll roads. This large area had a dam, a park, all sorts of things. So much more than that. You can actually stop and look around and there were some play areas even. I stopped for curry before meeting up with my surprise host which was always, which was good and is always good. I finally arrived at my destination. This was my first picture in Ine, Kyoto. And surprise, do you know this guy? This is who I went to see. It's DIY Japan's home, Danny. He had a small project to do while I was there, nothing major. The views in this area here are quite beautiful. You can see some nice little images of the the Jap Japan Sea. He got to work right off the bat by measuring some stuff up in the attic. These beams and ceilings are really, really beautiful. After we built this box, or basically he built the box, he put it up. It looks good, ne? But what is it? We went outside so he could set up a time-lapse camera. The weather was doing some interesting things and it was pretty cool, so he wanted to capture that. I'm looking forward to seeing the results later. It's lovely, ne? Very beautiful out here. It did rain a lot later on, but it was cool. This is the view from the local cafe, Ine Cafe, as you can see there. The Cafe Seto had some different options. This was the latte and the chocolate cake. There were also many seagulls flying around this particular area, so it was pretty cool to catch pictures of them. Walking around, the atmosphere was very nice. So, putting on the finishing touches, what is it? It's an exhaust fan. It was really hot up there, so he was sweating a lot to get this done, but I'm sure he'll be happy to have it finished. I do appreciate Danny for having me over for a few days. I had a really good time, but maybe... It was also silly. <laughs> anyway, I am now the king of Ine, self-proclaimed. Isn't that right, Danny? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again to DIY Japan. Check him out and subscribe if you haven't already. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you and... Jane. <laughs>